Hello everybody, uh, my name is Erica and um, I'm going to take you through a strongish flow. Uh, so we're going through quite challenging circumstances at the moment and the flow I want to share with you is a strengthening, resilience building flow but with a lot of heart opening as well. So when things get challenging we also need to be adaptable and uh, flexible and open to, to what is being um, offered to us, even if it is sometimes quite challenging. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get started and we're gonna start with some nice uh, strong core work and then we're gonna move into uh, the rest of the flow. The practice will take um, about an hour, an hour and a bit maybe, we'll see how we go. Um, come and join me on your backs, please. Uh, so just come and lie comfortably on your back. You're going to bend your knees and just bring your palms by your side and take a moment to settle in. So just take a few nice breaths. And these initial moments are a good time just to notice how you're feeling today. So just allow yourself to drop into whatever is arising, whatever is bubbling up to the surface. And this is a really precious thing in yoga, this capacity to go inwards and to connect with our own selves. So allow these first few minutes to be precious. Connected to your breath, or just allowing the breath to rise and fall through your nose, into your body. And just make a mental note of what is coming up now doing, how you're feeling, how you're settling into your practice, these first few initial moments of your practice. And then we'll just start taking some moves, so we'll take a nice big stretch, just stretching arms and legs, and taking a moment to feel the body, so you can feel where maybe there is tension, maybe in the shoulders, and then we'll bring the knees into the chest, and we'll just take a little rock from side to side, so just gentle rocking. Okay, and then we'll come back to centre. We're going to bring the arms to the side. You can turn the palms down if you want a little bit more stability or up. It's up to you. This might ground you a little bit more. And um, we're going to bring the shins more or less parallel with the mat. So you just don't want to be here. Okay, if you're a bit higher, that's fine, um, but just not too low. Um, draw the navel in so that the lower back is resting in the mat. And we're going to inhale here, center. And as you exhale, you're going to take your knees to the right. They're just not going to go all the way down, okay? You want that left shoulder to stay connected to the ground. As you inhale, you come back to center. And as you exhale, we're going to go to the left. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, right. Inhale, center. And exhale, left. We'll just take a few more like that. Inhale, center. Exhale, right. Really pull in through your core and the opposite rib as you come back to center. Exhale, uh, left, sorry. Pull in through your core and your right rib to come center. And let's just take one more on each side to the right. And center. And to the left. And center. Okay, just squeeze the knees into the chest once again, just that little rock from side to side, just massaging your lower back. And then bring the palms by your side, reach the legs up. So both legs up, you can point the toes, you can flex the feet, just have the legs nicely energized, okay? We don't want floppy legs, we want them really energized. 
And it might be that completely straight is not possible, so a bit of a bend, but energy through the legs. As we inhale, we're going to take the right leg down. And it's just going to hover above the mat. I want the navel to spine to be active, the ribs drawing in. Exhale, that leg comes up. We're going to do that on the left. Inhale, stay engaged through here. Exhale, so the leg just hovers above the mat. Right leg again. Exhale, and left leg again. And exhale, and right leg. Exhale, and left leg. Exhale, let's take a few more. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, right leg, inhale, navel engaged, exhale, so really draw into your mat, exhale, we're just going to take our last round to the right, up, and to the left, and up, now bring your knees into your chest, little hug, little rock. So we're going to take another round of what we did before. So we're going to be either here or if you want to challenge yourself a little bit more straight in the legs, okay? So we're going to inhale here and exhale to the right. The left shoulder stays grounded, so you might not go very far. And then inhale, come back to centre. Exhale, left. Inhale, centre. Exhale, right. Shoulders stay connected. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. And again, back to center. And right. Back to center. And left. Back to center. And right. Back to center. And left. Come back to center. Bring your knees into the chest. Just give them a nice hug. Okay, so we'll take another little core sequence. Take both legs up to the ceiling, your palms by your side, and this time take your left leg all the way down to the mat. So we're just going to do single leg raises with the right leg. We're going to inhale, keep that navel engaged, so stay connected as much as you can to the ground. Exhale, lift. So really notice when you lose that positioning in the spine, maybe you don't go all the way down, maybe you just go halfway. So we're hovering above the mat, that's the maximum distance. We're going to continue. Exhale, so we're inhaling down. Exhaling up. Inhale down. Exhale up, we're just going to take two more. Inhale. Exhale. Last one, inhale. Exhale. Now you're going to bend your right knee, you're going to take the knee into the chest, lift the head and lift your left leg up. And then you're going to press the shin into the hands to come up a little bit higher. Breathe here. Nice deep breaths. Breathe in and breathing out. Nice deep breath in. Long breath out. One more breath. Inhale. Maybe a little bit higher. And then slowly release the head, the leg. You're going to straighten that right leg and then you're going to hold the leg wherever you can reach it. And you're going to climb up the leg, maybe reaching for your ankle, maybe not, doesn't matter, okay? The leg can be slightly bent if this is challenging. And then we're going to take the left leg up and we're going to lift and hold, breathe in. Nice deep breaths, really working into that core. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, slowly release, take your right knee to your chest, take your left hand to your right knee, draw your right knee across and stretch your right arm out to the side so your right knee is coming to the left. The right shoulder might lift, that's absolutely fine, just let it float slightly off the mat and then let it release. Breathe here in this lovely supine twist enjoying the release through the belly so just relaxing that belly from the core work it's done and then let's come back onto our backs and we're just going to do that little sequence on the other side so bend the knees lift the hips and then we're going to take both legs up 
going to keep the left leg extended towards the ceiling and the right leg comes all the way down. As you inhale, your left leg hovers above the mat, keep that navel to spine engagement, exhale, come up. Okay, let's continue. Inhale, down, hover above the mat, that's your maximum. Exhale, up, if you feel that you can't or lose the connection if you go too far, just go halfway, that's fine. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, we've got three more. Inhale, exhale, last two. Inhale, exhale, and last one. Inhale, and exhale. Okay, take that left knee into the chest, lift your head up, lift your right leg up, and then press the shin into the hands to come up a little bit higher. Breathe there, nice deep breaths. Working into that core, into the midline of the body. Two more breaths, inhale. Exhale, inhale, maybe a little bit higher. And then slowly release the head, release the leg. Take your left leg back up to the ceiling and then you're gonna reach for the leg, just wherever you can reach, you're gonna lift your head. Climb up the leg a little bit higher and float your right leg up. Energize both legs if you need to bend the knee a little bit, absolutely by all means. Just work into that core. And then we're slowly going to release the head, the leg. Take your left knee into your chest, right hand over the left knee. Take the left knee across, reach the left arm out to the side. Relax that left shoulder, breathe here, nice deep breath. Just enjoying that release through the abdominal muscles, which we worked. Letting go. And then let's slowly come back to center. We're gonna use the feet to realign the hips. Excellent. And then just bring your knees into your chest, rock back and rock up to seated. Okay. So let's um, bring the feet to the mat, the hands behind you, the fingers are turned towards your body and you're going to press into the hands, lift and really open up the chest. Breathe there. Nice deep breaths. Just really find that opening through chest and pecs. Breathe into it. Just make sure that your shoulders are not creeping up towards your ears. Pull them down. The head can be here or you can release it if it feels nice to relax the neck, just make sure that feels okay for you if you do that. And then we're slowly going to release. Take your hands to the back of the leg, lift the toes. As you inhale, you're gonna lift that right leg, so it might be a small lift, it might be a full leg extension. You want to make sure that your spine is nice and long, okay? That's your priority, it's not the legs, it's the spine. Exhale, release, left leg, inhale. Exhale, let go, we'll continue, right, exhale, left, exhale, right, exhale, left, exhale, we're going to extend the right leg, hold, so you take it to the height, that works for you, and then left leg, hold, and lift the chest reach the arms forwards, hold here, stay here. If your legs are shaking, that's okay. You might just need to bring them down a little bit. Just choose the height that works for you. And then from here, we're gonna cross the right ankle over the left, and we're just gonna come into a cross-legged seated position, bringing your fingertips towards your body. And once again, taking that just opener from here. You might go a little bit deeper into it from here the neck whatever suits you okay if there are any cervical injuries you might not want to drop it back but it might feel completely nice to do so too always listen to your body practice to your own ability it's quite a strong flow today so i will be giving variations and then release plant the feet onto your mat once again this chest opener as well just really opening up through those pecs, you can lift the heart further up if it's there for you and then release. And then I'll take that little sequence, um, Navasana sequence, our boat pose sequence. Inhale left, 
Exhale, release. Right, release. Left, release. Right, release. Left, hold. Right, hold. Spine lock, so really get that lift and don't lose it when you let go. Hold here, breathe here. Nice deep breath, shaking your spine. But if you need to pull back, pull back. And then we're going to take that left ankle in front of the right. Bring your hands behind you. Press into your hands. Lift and open the chest. Drop the head back if that feels okay. Breathe into the heart. Lift the heart a little bit higher if it's there for you. And then let's release. We're going to come onto hands and knees, onto all fours. So your knees are going to be about hip width apart, your wrists underneath your shoulders. As you inhale, you're going to open up the chest, look ahead. And as you exhale, round the spine, draw the navel in. Inhale, open the chest, look ahead. And exhale, round. Three more. Inhale to lift and to open. Exhale to round, draw the navel in, one more, inhale, open, lift, exhale to round. Let's come back onto all fours, stretch the arms forwards, take a puppy stretch. So we'll take a few breaths there and puppy stretch, just breathing deeply. Nice deep breaths, breathing in, breathing out. Just really use this as an opportunity to open that heart. And then we're going to come onto all fours. We're going to sit onto our heels. Bring the hands behind us. You can either stay here, just press and open the chest, or if it feels okay to lift the hips, lift the hips and find that opening through the chest once again. And then release the sitting bones down. We're going to come back onto all fours, tuck your toes under, and come into a downward dog. So we're just going to pedal it through, bend one knee, bend the other, just move around in your downward dog, just finding mobility, relax your neck, relax your head. Just keep it nice and loose for now. Okay, and then we're going to walk the hands to the feet. Excellent, and we'll take a little flow here. So you can either bring your hands to your shin or hands to the mat as you inhale, lengthen, look ahead. Exhale, fold and release. Let's take a few more like that. Inhale, lengthen, look ahead. Exhale, fold and release. Three more, inhale, lengthen, look ahead. Exhale, fold and release. Last two, inhale to lengthen. Exhale to fold, and again, inhale to lengthen. Exhale to fold. We're going to softly bend the knees, roll ourselves up, sweep the arms up, take a nice big inhale as you lift. Exhale, fold forward. Walk the hands forward. So we're going to come into downward dog, and we're going to take a little flow here. You might want to just drop your knees to have a look. I'll show you the first one, and then we'll do it all together. So you're going to roll into a high plank and then through bent knees, you're going to almost brush against the mat and come back into a downward dog. So you can come and join me. We're going to take five of those. So rolling into a high plank, through bent knees, coming back. And again, high plank, through bent knees, back. Three more, inhale, exhale, back. Last two, inhale, exhale back. On the last one, we're going to have a little variation. So we're going to come into high plank, we're going to bend those knees. So we're in a plank, but with the knees bent, and we're going to hold, the knees are hovering just above the mat. Let's take three more breaths here, inhale. Exhale, two more, inhale. Exhale, one more, inhale. Exhale, the knees all the way to the mat, stretch your arms forwards, 
and take a button stretch, breathe in. Nice deep breaths, just breathing in and breathing out. Again, into the heart space. So, Anahata Asana, allowing the heart to melt towards the mat. And then we're going to come onto all fours. So let's come back to sit onto our heels. Bring your um, hands behind you. Point the fingertips towards the heels and lift and open the chest. Breathe in. Into the heart, into that open chest. Um, and then slowly release the heels to the um, feet, or the sitting bones to the heels, sorry. And then we're going to come back into our downward dog. And walk the hands to the feet. Let's take our lid off flow here in our forward fold. Inhale to lengthen. Hands to shins or to mat. Exhale, fold. Four more. Inhale, really rippling through that spine. Exhale. Last three, inhale, exhale, last two, inhale, exhale, just one more, inhale, exhale, softly bend the knees, let's roll up, let's sweep the arms up, big inhale, exhale, hands to mat, walk the hands forwards, let's come into downward dog once again, and we're going to take that little flow into our high plank, bending the knees, coming back. Excellent. Four more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last two. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. You know what's coming. We're going to hold it. Stay there. Press into the hands. Open the chest. The knees are hovering above the mat, so I know it's challenging. Let's take two more breaths together. One more deep inhale, exhale, the knees to the mat, come into your puppy stretch, stretch the arms forwards, take a few breaths in. Nice, deep, steady breath. Let's come on to all fours, let's tuck the toes under, come into downward dog. And we're going to walk the feet to the front of the mat. As you inhale, just lengthen the spine, look ahead. Exhale, fold and release. We're slowly going to roll all the way up. We're going to move into our sun salutations. So just sweep the arms straight up. Exhale, the hands to mat. Inhale, lengthen the spine, look ahead, step your right leg back. Just drop the knee, point the toes and reach the arms up. We're going to reach and lengthen into the fingertips, really open up the chest. Find that openness, not by dipping into the lower back, but by really opening up the front body and find the opening from the upper back. Release the hands to the mat, we'll come into a plank. And we're just going to drop the knees, the chest, the chin, nice and smoothly. Inhale to cobra. You come up to the height that works for you. It might be a small cobra, it might be higher. Just make sure your back is happy with whatever you're doing. Exhale, downward dog, breathe in. Nice and steady breaths. Just breathing in through the nose, out through the nose. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, softly bend the knees. Walk the feet to the front of the mat. As you inhale, lengthen, look ahead. As you exhale, fold and release. Roll up, sweep the arms up. Take a nice big inhale as you reach the palms to the ceiling. Exhale, the hands to the mat. Inhale, lengthen, look ahead. Left leg back. Drop your knee, point your toes. Reach your arms up. Lift. Release the hands to the mat. Take a plank, knees, chest to, inhale to cobra, exhale to downward dog, breathe out, nice deep breaths, breathing in and breathing out, palms grounded, navel engaged, spine long, neck relaxed. 
Step the feet to the front of the mat. As you inhale, lengthen, look ahead. Exhale, fold. We'll take another round of Surya A's, of Sun Salutation A's. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to mat. Inhale to lengthen, look ahead. Right leg steps back. Drop your knees, point your toes. Reach your arms up, lift into your crescent lunge. Release the hands to the mat. Plank. So now take knees, chest, chin, or if you want to take chaturanga, you're welcome to take your chaturanga. Press into a cobra or upward dog, just always focusing on the comfort of the lower back. Exhale, downward dog. So we'll take a breath there, inhaling. Exhaling, fully, softly bend your knees. And you can either walk or take a hop to the front of the mat. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. So it's your practice, just take it to the pace that works for you. Just check in with your energy today. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen, left leg back. Drop your knees, point your toes, reach your arms up, crescent lunge. Lift, lengthen, really opening the upper back. Release the hands to the mat. We're gonna come into plank. Knees, chest, chin, or your chaturanga. Cobra, upward dog. Downward dog, let's breathe there. Nice, deep breaths. Breathing in. Breathing out. Neck and head relaxed. Shoulders nice and wide. You can softly bend the elbows. It helps us avoid hyperextension in the arms. And then softly bend the knees. You can walk, you can jump. Your choice, yogi's choice. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. So we're going to continue. It's just going to get a little bit more complicated. Okay. Let's reach the arms up. Inhale. Exhale. Hands to mat. Lengthen the spine. Look ahead. Step your right leg back. Drop your knee. Point your toes. And we're going to reach the arms up. So crescent lunge. Same beginning. Now we're going to release the hands to the mat. And we're going to come into a downward dog. Okay, we're going to lift the right leg up and back, and if it feels nice here, you can take a hip opener and a bend of the knee. Just make sure you don't take the leg here, and you really want to press into the hands, lengthen, and then from there, open into the hip. Um, I find that this feels really good, but just take what works for you. And then we're going to take the right knee to the chest. Inhale, up and back, another hip opener if you want, or just a lift of the leg is absolutely fine. And then right knee to the right elbow, tap. Inhale, up and back, open the hip if it's there for you. And then we're going to take the right knee to the left elbow. And then from here, we're going to come into a humble warrior. Okay, so option to stay here. I'd like you to come onto the instep of the left foot, the outer edge of the right foot. Either stay here. Or take your hand to center and reach your left arm up and we're going to hold breathing here nice deep breaths inhale exhale inhale exhale we're going to release the right hand we're going to come straight into three-legged dog or if that's not working for you come into downward dog and then lift your right leg up so that you meet us in a three-legged dog with your right leg up we're gently going to step that right foot in between the hands, coming into runner's lunge. And from your runner's lunge here, you're going to reach the arms forwards, 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 and lengthen up into a high lunge. Bend that front knee nice and generously. You might need to adjust the feet. And we're going to bend the left knee. Inhaling. Exhale, extend. Let's do that a few times. Inhale, bend. Exhale, extend. Three more. Inhale. Exhale. And again, inhale. Exhale. Now we're going to bend, and from here we're going to come into warrior two. So energize the arm. Bend that front knee nice and generously so that you get a nice opening through the hips. And then from there we're going to reverse back. 
from our reverse back into our high lunge, smooth transition. And then really slowly, we're gonna pour ourselves over that front leg. So really engaging the legs to keep the control. And then with just the left hand comes down, the right arm comes up, twisted lunge. Right hand down, vinyasa of your choice, knees, chest, chin, or a chaturanga. Cobra or upward dog, downward dog. Let's take a few breaths there. Nice and steady breaths, just breathing in and breathing out. Maybe you can feel your body heating up with this practice now. And we'll continue getting warm through the practice. Softly bend the knees. We'll jump to the front of the mat. Inhale, lengthen, look ahead, exhale, fold. Let's roll up, sweep the arms up. Take a nice big inhale. Exhale, the hands to the mat. Inhale, lengthen, look ahead. Left leg steps back, drop your knees, point your toes. Reach your arms up, lift, lengthen, open the chest. Release the hands to the mat, down the dog. Let's take the left leg up and back now. And if you want, you can take that hip opener. It is optional. You can always hang out here. Okay, your choice, Yogi's choice. Press into the hands. And then we're going to take the left knee to the chest. Come forward. Inhale, up and back. Open the hip. Left knee to left elbow. Inhale, up and back, open the hip. Left knee forwards, left foot to the side. We're going to come into a humble warrior, breathing there. So your choice, you can always keep the hands down as you did on the other side, if you did that, or lift the arm up. Nice deep breaths. And then release your hand to your mat. You're going to come into that three-legged dog. I always need a little hop here to get back into the right place. And then we're going to step the left foot through. Come onto your fingertips. Runners lunge. Reach the arms forwards. Don't rush. Don't rush. Don't rush. You're going to work harder if you don't rush. Inhale. Bend that right knee. Exhale. Extend. And again. Inhale. Bend. Exhale. Extend. Three more. Bend, extend, bend, extend, bend, open up. Warrior two, left arm forwards, right arm back. Bend that front knee nice and generously. And then reverse. Come back into high lunge. Pour yourself over that front leg. Right hand only comes down, left arm reaches up, twisted lunge. Left hand down, through. And vinyasa of your choice, or straight to down the dog, if you're feeling that you need to preserve your energy. Let's take a few breaths here in down the dog. Okay, and then let's just drop the knees to the mat and take a puppy stretch. So slide the arms forwards and just take a few breaths here in puppy stretch. Okay. We're going to come back onto all fours and um, we're going to do half camel now, okay? So just make sure when you take your camel that you're not pinching into the lower back. So it really is a chest opener, an opener of the whole front of the body. So we're going to lift up, you're going to tuck your toes under and I'd like the hips and the knees to stay in line with each other so we don't want to drop here, okay? And then you're either going to take your right hand onto your lower back, so your hand looks like that, or you, if you know the pose and if you know you're very confident, you can just take your right hand to your heel. If you need to double up the mat to protect your knees, by all means, or place a blanket underneath your knees, by all means, do that. So
So we're going to start with the right hand either to the lower back or to the heel. And we're going to reach that left arm up and we're going to open up the chest. Okay? If you have the hand to the heel, if you have the hand to the lower back, just stay where you are. But if you have the hand to the heel, you might be able to cuff your left hand behind your head and drop the head a little bit further, but keep the hips lifted, keep the chest open, breathe into the heart space. And then take your left arm up and we'll do the other side. So hand either to lower back or to heels, right arm up, either stay here. Just make sure your hips are really facing forward so they're not coming sideways, but pull them up. And then maybe cuff the head, point the elbow higher, breathe into the heart space. Nice, deep breath. Okay, and then reach your right arm up. Just come and sit onto your heels for a few breaths. You can bring your hands to prayer at the heart. And just let your lower back release. So we don't want to release so much that we crunch. We want to keep the chest lifted, but the lower back relaxed. So it feels a bit like I'm melting here, a lengthening, a release. Breathe deeply through the nose. Nice steady breath. Okay, and then we're going to come back onto all fours. We're going to take a downward dog. It might feel nice to rock the hips a little bit here just to release that camel pose, that utrasana pose. It's a strong pose. And then we're going to walk the hands to the feet and just take a few breaths in a forward fold. So you can release the hands to the mat. You can have the hands to your shins. You can take your toe lock, two peace fingers and one thumb around your big toe. Lengthen the spine, look ahead, fold, breathe there. If you need to bend your knees, by all means, okay? So if your forward fold kind of looks like that, I would recommend that you bend your knees so that you get that fold from the hip crease and then you can access the spine better okay with that hinge breathe deeply nice steady long breaths and then let's release the bind if we have one we're going to bend the knees roll up and we're going to reach the arms up to come into a chair okay, so sit nice and low Reach the fingertips upwards. Breathe deeply, bring your knees back so that you can see your toes. And then from there, we're gonna to come to a flat back. I know, I know. <laughs> Breathe in, lengthen, reach the fingertips forwards. The quads are working. And if they're not, come lower. And then slowly pull yourself over those legs, walk back into your downward dog. And we'll breathe there. Okay, so we're going to take our last standing sequence. We're going to build on what we've done. So we're going to add a few little bits. So we're going to take that right leg up and back, open the hip, bend the knee if that feels nice. And then right knee to chest. Inhale, up and back, open. Right knee to right elbow. Inhale, up and back, open. Right knee to left elbow. So we're gonna come back into that humble warrior and I'm gonna give you some, um, or fallen warrior actually, it's a fallen warrior. I'm gonna give you some options here. So um, stay there, come into the version, this version we did before, or if you want to go further, you can take your toe and lift, or you could lift like this with balance, breathe here, hold, 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 and then we're going to come back into a three-legged dog with our right leg up, so just get there in your own way, and then we're going to bring the right knee into the chest, step the right foot through, come into your fingertips, reach the arms forwards, come up into your high lunge, bend that knee generously, open the chest, and then bend the back knee, the left knee, inhale, Exhale, extend. Inhale, bend. Exhale, extend. Three more. Inhale. Exhale. And again. Inhale. Exhale. Bend the knee a little bit more. Hold. And then warrior two. 
Okay, so bend that knee nice and generously. We're going to reverse and we're going to come into Parshva, Parshva Konasana. So either your elbow to your knee or if your hand can comfortably reach the mat, that's fine. But don't compromise on the pose just for ego sakes, okay? So if you're kind of starting to become like that, then maybe just come up or place a block. And then we're going to reach that left arm over our ear, but spin the chest towards the ceiling. Okay, you really want to open up that chest. And then from here, we're going to come into Chishatri Konasana. So you can reach your left arm up to the ceiling. If the elbow is to the thigh, take your right hand to your shin. If the right hand is on the mat, just straighten the leg. So you're going to end up either here or here. Okay? And then you can always take the arm over the ear if you want to. You can reach it up. You could always take it behind your back. Up to you, whatever feels good for you today. The chest is open though. Breathe here. Nice, deep, deep breaths. Okay, we're going to bend that front leg. We're going to release the hands to the mat, tuck the back toes under, lift the heel, and step the foot in a little bit. Come into pyramid pose. We're just going to keep a long spine here, okay? So your hands might be on your shin, they might be on blocks. Keep the spine long. Breathe nice and deeply. So don't worry about folding over too generously. We're going to come into revolve triangle, Pariri Chatri Konasana. So we want the spine long. We're going to take the left hand inside the foot. You could raise it to a block. You could take it onto your shin if you feel that it's a bit too intense on the mat. And then you're going to twist, but you don't want to do this, okay? So we want to keep that grounding, keep the spine nice and long, and then twist. If the right arm wants to reach up from here, go ahead. Feel free to. Otherwise, just keep the hand on the low back. It's absolutely fine there. Breathe nice and deeply. And then release the right hand to the mat. We're going to come into standing splits. So that left leg is going to come up, inhale, exhale, then both knees curl. Inhale, reach up, and bend both knees and curl. One more, inhale, bend both knees and curl. And then we're going to inhale up, hold, fold, breathe there. And then gently, Step back, so take your time, don't rush, nice and mindful movement. And then we're slowly going to come back up into that lunge. Release the hands to the mat. You can step straight into downward dog, or if you want to take a vinyasa, go ahead. Yogi's choice. So you decide if your body feels like it needs a vinyasa, vinyasa of choice, knees, chest, chin, chaturanga, cobra, upward dog. Downward dog, let's take a few breaths and then we'll do all that on the other side, yippee. <laughs> I hope you're all doing well there, maybe feeling warm. It's a really warm day in London today, so I can feel that heat rising. And we're gonna reach the left leg up and back. Open the hip and then take that left knee center, reach up and back. Left knee to left elbow, up and back. And then we're going to take it across as we did for that fallen warrior. Um, and then your choice, both hands on the mat, here, here, or here. You decide. Breathe deeply there. And three-legged dog. Just make your own way to left leg up. And then we're going to step that left foot through. And we're going to come into our high lunge. And just bend that knee nice and generously. Bend the right knee now. Inhale. Exhale. Extend. So just watch the alignments of the hips when you do that. Inhale. Exhale. Really open through the chest. Three more. Inhale. Exhale. And again, inhale, exhale, and then you're going to bend your knee, hold, warrior two. 
nice smooth transition. Bend that front knee generously. Look over your middle finger. And then reverse. And we'll come into Parachakonasana. So elbow to knee, hand to block, hand to mat, your choice. Right arm up, right arm over your ear. Open your chest nice and generously. As if it wants to peek to the ceiling above you. And then from there, reach your right arm up and slowly extend the legs. So your hand is either going to be on your shin or on the mat. We'll take a few breaths here. And then let's bend that left knee, release the hands to the mat. Tuck the back toes under, lift the heel and step the foot in. Come onto your fingertips, lengthen the spine, look ahead. Stay here with the long spine, so you don't need to feel the need to fold over the leg. We're just really getting the spine long to take our revolve triangle. So your right hand is going to come either inside your leg to the shin to a block. Your left hand is going to come to your lower back. You're going to start twisting the body towards the left. And then either keeping the hand on the lower back or reaching the arm up, your choice, your only choice. Breathe here, keep the spine long, keep the hips moving back. The feet, the legs are doing a lot of work. And then release the left hand to the mat, bend your front knee, come up into your standing splits. Inhale, exhale, curl. Just take two more of those. Inhale, lift. Exhale, curl. One more, inhale. Exhale, inhale, lift, hold your standing splits, fold over that left leg, breathe there. Nice and deeply, nice and steady. Nice, deep, deep breaths. And then step slowly all the way back, coming all the way up with the arms. And then releasing the hands to the mat, a vinyasa, or straight into your downward dog. You choose, you decide, you have these Take a few breaths in downward dog, press into the hands, lengthen through the spine, relax the neck. And then drop your knees to your mat and take a puppy stretch. So let's stretch the arms, release the forehead to the mat, take a few breaths there. Okay, let's slowly come back onto our heels. So we're going to do full camel now, okay? So um, either with your toes pointed or your toes tucked under. If you're going to take your hands to your heels, I would recommend that you tuck your toes under so that the heels are a little bit higher. But if you're super confident with this pose and it's something you do often and you have the opening to go with your feet flat, that's fine. Otherwise, hands onto your lower back. If you found it quite challenging when we did the um, half camel. Okay, so either hands onto your lower back, hands to your heels, and just remember to bring the hips forward and to really lift the chest. Okay, so the back bend is not coming from the lower back, it's coming from about here. So that mid back to upper back. Lift the heart, open up, breathe in. Neck relaxed if it feels comfortable, if it doesn't, you take it up. And then we're slowly going to come up, sit onto your heels, and just take a moment to take your right hand to your heart, your left hand to your belly, and just breathe into the front of the body. Nice, deep, steady breaths, breathing in and out. And then we're going to fold forwards. If that feels okay for your spine, if it's intense, don't fold too fast, just take your time. Release the forehead to the mat when you're ready. Just take a few breaths here. Okay, we're going to 
roll up. We're going to sit to the side of the heels. We're going to bring the legs forward. So we'll take a few stretches here. Um, so we'll bend our left knee and take our left hand behind us. Right hand to the left leg and look over your shoulder. Sit nice and tall. Breathe nice and deeply. Steady breaths here. So just watch that your right hip is grounded, your right thigh is grounded. And then we're gonna come back to center. Well, slightly center, it's still sideways. Um, but you're gonna take your right hand, cup it towards your right foot and sweep that left arm up and over. So try not to go the short way. You're gonna go the long way, really reaching that arm over your head towards the foot, breathe here. If it feels nice to take the arm across, you're welcome to do that as well. Sometimes it can feel nice to go into both directions. And then let's come up. Let's turn towards that extended leg. So we will turn forwards now. Um, so both hips are facing forwards and we're gonna fold over our right leg. Just really fold into length, okay? So spine long, inhale here, exhale, release, and then through that breath, find the length in the spine until you find that forward fold. We'll take a few breaths there. And then we're slowly going to roll up. Let's swap legs. So we're just going to change the legs over. Take your right hand behind you, your left hand to your right knee. Look over your right shoulder, sit tall, lengthen the spine. Breathe nice and deeply and steadily. And then taking yourself back, almost to centre, halfway to centre, and then take your left hand inside your foot, your right arm up and over, find that side stretch without cheating, so the long way. If you want to take that left hand towards your right knee, feel free to do that and find a little bit more length through the right side. Let's turn towards that extended leg, towards your left leg, and we're going to fold over it. So just really lengthening the spine, breathing there, nice deep breaths. Just breathing in and out through the nose. And we're slowly going to roll up. Let's take the soles of the feet together for Baddha Konasana. So sitting tall, lengthening, and just fold here. You can really round the spine, it's absolutely fine. Just let yourself fold as it comes naturally. And just bring the seat to the pose through the breath. So let the breath take you deeper. Every exhale, an opportunity to surrender a little bit more. So as you exhale, just really let go, let go, let go into the ground. Feel that kind of sinking feeling. And then we're gonna come up. Now stretch your legs out. So if that's gonna be too strong for you, bend your knees. Just make sure you can sit tall. So if you're kind of sitting like this, then you might be better off bending your knees or sitting on a block if you have one. And we're going to walk the fingertips forwards, lengthen over the spine and fold and release. Let's take a few breaths here. Nice and steady breaths, just breathing in and out. Inhale. Exhale, just a few more breaths. Inhale. And exhale. One more. Exhale. Okay, let's slowly roll up. We're going to come and lie on our backs. So, with your knees bent. 
We'll take a nice two bind twist now, so you can um, bring your knees into your chest, then stretch the arms to the side, and then we're going to drop both knees to the right and the head to the left, and we'll just take a few breaths there. Just relaxing your head to the left, rolling it over as you breathe. Okay, let's slowly come back to center. You can just realign the hips, bring the knees into the chest, stretch the arms out and bring both knees to the left. And just take a few moments to relax there, a few breaths, you can roll your head to the right. Just get a release through the neck as well. Make sure your shoulders are relaxed. Um, in times like this of anxiety, we do tend to put a lot of tension in our shoulders. Very common. It's where a lot of our stress goes, so we constantly have to remind ourselves to relax the shoulders. And then we're just going to come back to centre. So we'll take one more little move before we come and explore our final relaxation. So you're going to take your right leg up. You can either hold here, 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 or the outer edge of the foot. The knee is going towards the armpit and the foot towards the ceiling. So I often see this in Happy Baby. No, foot really up. And then if you want to drop your left knee out to the side, feel free to do that. We're gonna take a few breaths here. Nice, deep, steady breaths. Just breathing in and out. Nice, deep breath in. And out. Take a few moments here. It's a really nice one just to reset the spine after taking those boat poses. Lovely. And then bring that left knee up if it's down, and then the right foot down, and we'll just swap sides. We're taking the left side into half happy baby, your version of it, the right knee out to the side if that feels good. So half happy baby, half Baddha Konasana, really nice release for the spine and for the hips of course, but we're really working on that lower back now. Okay, and then you're gonna release, you're gonna bring both feet together, so the soles of the feet together, the knees wide into Baddha Konasana, Supta Baddha Konasana, right hand to heart, left hand to belly. We're gonna breathe here. Just stay here with the breath. And then you can decide if it feels nice to stay here or if you want to extend your right leg, your left leg. And then bring the palms by your side. So we're gonna rest here and you can stay here as long as you want. So if you have time and you want to take a really long Shavasana, feel free to do that. You can always play some music, some nice relaxing music or a guided meditation. And you can stay either lying down or seated the end of our practice is a really nice time to go through a guided meditation or just taking time to stay with the breath, really simple breathing technique or contemplation meditation technique to focus on the breath. So I'll stay here a little bit longer with you, but feel free to stay longer than I do. Just focused on the breath. Just take a moment to connect with the here and now. So allow yourself to notice how you're feeling after your practice. Just notice if anything has shifted. No right or wrong answer here. It's just your own personal experience. But we're taking the time to connect with that. 
feel with wherever we're at. And then we're going to bring a little bit of movement into the body. If you're staying here, just stay here, take your time. You don't need to rush. And then for those of you who are moving with me, you can stretch, reach, lengthen. Bring your knees into your chest. So we come out nice and mindfully out of Shavasana. We don't just jump up. We're just going to take a little rock from side to side. So we try and keep that kind of mindful awareness throughout the day. And then roll onto your right side, your left side. Curl. Take a moment there and then press yourself up or come up to a seated position, cross-legged, bringing the hands to prayer at the heart. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I hope that there is something precious that you've been able to take away from this practice, uh, maybe something new you've learned, and I hope it also supports you um, through these rocky times, just giving you a bit of stability and capacity to to embrace what what is coming and um, the challenges we face at the moment namaste thank you so much